And this box here is what can really only be described as the Swiss Army knife of radios. It's from 1962, I think, Westinghouse. It has a radio, AM radio, flashlight, cigarette lighter, watch, although it's really a clock, I think, built-in recharger, and batteries. Um, made in Japan. Let's take a look at it. Inside the lid, when you take it off, there's a styrofoam thing and an operator guide hiding underneath it. I think it's interesting on the back of the styrofoam there is the big Westinghouse logo. And on the inside we have our radio. It looks nice. This is the Escort. Nice presentation case. And I notice pulling that part off back here you've got Japan so they, there's something on the sides of everything here I was alerted to the fact that there was some AM radio with a cigarette lighter supposedly by a viewer on another video of mine uh, combination RCA AM radio with a flashlight and that user told me he'd heard of a radio with a cigarette lighter and I started being on the lookout for them and eventually I found one. It's a small radio, not big at all. We have our what they call watch, I'm calling it a clock. Um, Westinghouse Escort. Our dial scale is in that little window there. Sometimes it's hard to see. A uh, little Finish here in the front. Nothing on this little label here. I don't know if they're supposed to be or not, but there isn't. At the top we have a little switch that operates the flashlight. And we have our crown here. Just winding the crown in this position uh, winds it. And it's supposed it'll run for about a day until you need to rewind it again. You can see there the second hand is moving. I wound it a while back. It's keeping good time so far. Nice looking little analog clock. And if you want to reset the time, you just pull the crown out and turn it like a normal, if you would a normal clock. Never operate the unit without the back cover in place. Westinghouse, and this is the uh, RS21P08A. And they had another model, I think it was the RS16P08A, and it didn't have a cigarette lighter. There's the back, eight transistors, Japan. Turn this dial, and you can get the electrical prongs out to plug it into the wall and charge the NICAD batteries. And it's got the recharger to charge. This is an outlet for a earphone jack. And this is not your standard earphone jack. This is a very small jack. This is a very small plug. Not the kind you would normally find on old AM radios. This is much smaller. I think it's one and a half millimeters. Much more smaller than the other ones, which I guess are two and a half. This still has the strap in plastic. AM radio, so I don't get much. Let's see. See the, the lights turned on there. Let me turn these lights off here. There's the flashlight. A little touchy. The radio does not work when the flashlight's on. And I can imagine this is why it has rechargeable batteries. 
Uh, the flashlight's probably a big drain. And of course, here's the kicker, the uh, cigarette lighter. Right now, that's just this beige stuff right here. But you pull this down, and uh, you've got a cigarette lighter there. It's hard to show you what that looks like not on. And I'm not a smoker. I don't have cigarettes to try it out with. And I don't think I'd want to smoke up the area if I did. Be ashamed to have a nice radio like this, and then someone would say, "Well, it smells like smells like cigarette smoke." So I think you'd probably want to buy one of these that had not been in a smoking household. <laughs> Let's open the back and look inside. One screw to take out to get in. All right. I'm using regular Duraleak batteries, not rechargeables. We have our uh, cigarette lighter here, but there's not much I can see with it. Small antenna. Um, supposedly has eight transistors. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd say it's as described. Small tuning capacitor. Let's stick it back together. And let's look at the owner's guide. Pretty thorough. Nothing unexpected. Instructions on how to change that bulb. Looks like you press that little metal piece in. If it were to go out. I don't know if this is a date code down there. I don't know how to read it. Um, like I saw on the internet a reference that this was from 1962. But that same reference that it was made in Taiwan. And this is obviously Japanese, so I don't know. I'm going to call it 1962. All right, if you wanted to change the time, pull the crown up. It's a little sticky. Push it back down and winding it like that. It should be good for 24 hours. Second hand is moving. I guess pushing that in would pop the bulb out. I'm not going to do that. cigarette lighter comes on even when the radio is turned off or when the main power is off. That's interesting. So a clock, cigarette lighter, flashlight, radio. That switch is a little iffy. Carrying strap.
So sports. Music? Weird. Mocking Christ with actually has great ramifications. Top of the dial. Wow. Sometimes I get a Latino station here. But not tonight. Well, that is an interesting radio. I really like it. The Westinghouse Escort RS21P08A. I think, like I say, there was another version, the RS16P08A, that did not have the lighter for the non smokers, I guess. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.